I know you've probably seen one of these, but when was the last time you saw someone use one of these? I would love to go snorkeling down there and see what you can find. Holy shnikes. This is so cool. Look at the walls. Huge thank you to Ivan and his beautiful family who didn't have to stop and help us, no. but did. Looks like there's a lesson to be learned here. Never say never, because we never thought we would be back in Yuma, and here we are about to leave again. Yeah, I'm actually really gonna miss this place. It's almost become a home away from home. I mean, we've been here for a total of eight months between last contract and this one. And I'm actually gonna miss a lot of the people from the hospital. I made some good friends. Obviously, we love our RV park and our location on the river, and you know, we've had some really great times here, but our Arizona adventures aren't quite done yet, y'all. We're headed to Willow Beach in Northern Arizona. Yeah, more specifically, Emerald Cove, which is one of the biggest paddle boarding spots in Arizona, so yeah. I'm really excited. This was on our must-do list, and yes. we about to do it. We've got a pretty long drive day ahead of us, so time to say goodbye, Yuma. Or is it see you later? Um. Just like to point out how sexy and clean Cody looks right now, y'all. We've got truck maintenance done, RV maintenance. We are ready for fun employment, summer 2022. Let's go. All right, ladies, we made it. Willow Beach Campground and RV Park. Good morning. Good morning. Got here a little late, Willow Beach Campground and RV Park. Yeah, it's part of the Lake Mead Recreation Area, which is a national uh, recreation area. Yeah. That's right, right? Yeah. We're actually about to go check in and grab our supplies at the marina store. So if you get in late, that's where you would check in. And just so you know, this recreation area has a place where you can get gas and the actual store itself has ice, booze, food. They got a little cafe, but it does close a little bit early, just so you know, like 4.35. From what we can tell, this is a pretty sweet campground. Yeah. Uh, and we have a, actually a view of the lake from our RV site. so pretty nice. Today's activity, very excited about this. Headed to Emerald Cove, but this really probably isn't for the lighthearted because we got a two mile paddle to the cove and a two mile paddle back. Yeah, they say it takes about four hours without overexertion. This is actually kind of right on par with our Antelope Canyon adventure that we did, so we'll have that video up here. Yeah, I imagine that it's a similar thing to Lake Powell, mm -hmm. but we about to find out. And it's early, but it's already hot. It's already real hot. All right, here's the deal. Got ready to go paddleboard, and guess what? Truck battery's dead. Someone was nice enough to 
let us borrow this jumper, which uh, we are currently trying to figure out how to use. So wish us luck. All right, here goes nothing. So close. Should I try it again? Yes. <laughs> oh my goodness. Thank God. Thank you so much. Okay, it's running. Huge thank you to Ivan and his beautiful family who didn't have to stop and help us, no. but did, and uh, it's running. So we're gonna see what happens. I mean, hopefully it's not a reoccurring problem. I, I don't really know why the battery went dead. It's looking like we're gonna have to get this replaced. And it like really struggled. So when it was hooked up. Yeah. So. It's just another thing, right? RV life. All right, y'all. Round two. We planned on getting out there around 9 a.m. this morning, but with all the car troubles that y'all saw, we're actually gonna end up getting out there around 11.30. So we had to regroup, getting a little extra water because it's gonna be hot. That's um, okay. We're, we're gonna knock this out. <laughs> At least we're gonna be on the water so we can kind of dip in whenever we need to. That's right. Okay, so we probably should have already had these, but we absolutely have to have them in order to do this activity. By law. Yes, by law, they'll find you and tow you back to shore. Mm -hmm. So, uh, which is our PDFs, PF, PFTs? PFTs. Well, <laughs> what are we in the office? Come on, man. It feels like <laughs> one of those things where I should just be calling it a life jacket. Honestly, people don't do yeah. that anymore. PDF is probably an acronym that you use a little bit more often than yeah. a PFT. So. I think. What is? Why did they change it? Because they don't want to be held responsible because it's supposed to be a life saving jacket. Correct. I think that's what they told us when and we were uh, when we were whitewater rafting. Anyway, it's better to have it than not. And now we do. So let's go. Hey, you might want to slow down. We got a lot of paddling to do. That's why we bought the electric pump. <laughs> That's true. I'm just trying to speed it up a little. Everything's loaded up. As you can see behind us, there's clearly tours that are about to do the same exact thing that we do. And I guess we're just hoping that we can keep up with the one of these kayaking groups and they lead the way. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll see. There's a reason people do most of these things in kayaks. They tend to be a little bit quicker. But... That's okay. We're, we're here for the work today. So there's a place where you can launch a boat if you have one. But if you see behind us right here, this is where you launch your small watercrafts. And I would suggest if you come here and you're downloading directions, download them to your phone. They do have Wi-Fi. You can pay like, what, $4? Um, so for like a day. And it's almost the whole entire park, which is really nice because there is absolutely zero cell service. Yeah, so zero. just be prepared. You're working off Wi-Fi only around these parks. Well, we're in and water is chilly. It's so cold. But it's gonna feel so good when we need it. All right, y'all, we're about to do this. You ready to put in this work? Victoria, are you seeing how clear this water is? It is so clear. I can see the bottom and I don't think it's close. No, that's probably like 20 feet. That's wild. I would love to go snorkeling down there and see what you can find. y'all we're rolling up on it right here as you can see all the people look at this freaking water okay it's right around the corner but we stopped to talk to y'all here real quick to let you know how to find it and if it's not because of the enormous group of people right there 
Here's how you actually do find it if it's a slower day. Once you see a cable car mounted to the side of the canyon, you know you're almost there. They also say you might miss it because there is a larger cave on the left side, so. But cable sure. car is your marker. Uh-huh, make sure you're looking out. There's a walkway up there. Victoria, you wanna go do that? No, you're good? All right, so y'all, we're currently waiting in this line. Just kind of wading around here. <laughs> what did we walk into? All right, Victoria, it's almost our turn. Almost. We actually spend as much time waiting in line as we did paddling over here. Yeah, so we got here in a little over 50 minutes and we have been here almost two hours now. No, that's not true. I'm sorry, it has hit two hours on my watch, so it's been an hour and 10 minutes. Okay. Sitting. I was like, what? All that for this little cave, but it's so pretty. Look at this water. Wow. As soon as you get out of the sun. Holy shnikes. This is so cool. Look at the walls. This is so cool. <laughs> Can we come up with some other adjectives? <laughs> I don't, I can't think of another adjective right now, but look how green it is in here. It is actually emerald. Wow. This is so crazy. Yeah, it's literally like the wall. That is awesome. That is so cool. adjusted I'm like oh shit it's really cool <laughs> <laughs> like, oh my God. Yeah, just kidding cool. thanks y'all appreciate it yeah, yeah. Okay, have fun. Yeah, cool. okay what do you think I think it was pretty awesome hey that's one of the cooler nature things I've seen as, as soon as you get into the shadow your eyes adjust and it's just emerald everywhere and it's yeah. just like it just glows. yeah in the water on the cave it's Pretty sweet, and I see why so many damn people are lined up here. Uh-huh. But uh, now we need to start paddling back. But hey, listen, if this many people can do it, so can you. We talked about earlier how it's like, you know, a tough paddle, but I think that's because people say it takes two hours because they stop a lot, but we just booked it. Yeah. Now so we'll stop. We're gonna stop on the way back? Yeah, we'll hang out at a beach or something. So we made a little quick pit stop off the side of the river here to check out this overlook. Also, explore an early period in the history of the Colorado River. <laughs> it's pretty from here. So this is actually the site where someone lived that used to climb out over that cable near Emerald Cove every day, go to the middle of the river, and drop something down to measure it. But what a view this dude had. Yeah, I would definitely build my house right here. I don't know if I would want his job, but no. it's a pretty cool view. All right, y'all, we're just getting back to the marina. 
definitely easier coming back because you are coming down river. Uh, but there's some really cool stops along the way. So take your time, enjoy it because there's a lot to check out along the river. Yeah, I would say that we probably booked it pretty hard on the way there and it took us about 50 minutes. Um, all in all with the wait and coming back, it's at about uh, three hours, 45 minutes. So four hours wasn't off. Not bad. Obviously there's places where you can do kayaking adventures. They provide the kayak and everything. They also rent kayaks and boats here. Uh, so it's kind of a choose your own adventure. Honestly, it wasn't that strenuous. I will say though, I do have blisters on my fingers. <laughs> Her little baby hands. Oh. Now we're gonna grab some booze and hang out near the lake. <laughs> Hey, Doug. I want a duck. All right, our chill spot. Cheers. Now you've probably seen one of these, but when was the last time you saw someone use one of these? I've never used one of these. I literally just had to be like, how do I do this? Zero cell service here on Willow Beach Campground. So they have a payphone. And we are the proud owners of a new AAA membership because we're about to have to get this truck battery taken care of. That's the current situation. Oh, she, she's never even used one of these. She's got a dial tone. When's the last time you heard a dial tone? <laughs> well, we planned on leaving today, but that whole AAA thing, it didn't quite work out the way we needed it to. Apparently they didn't have a truck that could come replace a battery. And we still have a truck that won't start. Sitting right here at the marina, so it's convenient because at least we can keep storing our paddle boards in here. But we have extended our stay at Willow Beach, which means tomorrow we gotta get this figured out. And it's looking like more and more we're gonna have to get a jump and drive, I don't know, 30 minutes to Henderson, which is just outside of Las Vegas, and try and get this taken care of because really, we have no options and we have one vehicle. But the good thing is, is that, you know, this falls in the fun employment between contracts for Victoria time. So we actually have time to get things like this handled. You know, it's funny because we did all this preparation for our RV and the truck before like, you know, taking on another 1300 miles, however many it was in front of us and something goes wrong. So, you know, again, rainbows and sunshine, it's not always that. I know it kind of looks like that, but you know, listen, it's life. We're all humans and we're all just living a different version of life. You know, hopefully we can get this handled tomorrow. And the good thing is, is that really our only deadline, you know, this might be changing some of our plans, but is to be in Washington on the 18th and 19th because we're meeting a friend up there for that festival. So we'll see what happens. We actually had to come to Boulder City to an auto zone, which is about 30 minutes away from Willow Beach Campground. But shout out to AutoZone because they do do free battery testing. Yep, so now we know for sure it was our battery. He said it didn't really read much of a charge at all. Yeah, so $250 later, we got the Dural Last Gold, which is really kind of the best one that we could get. Should be a quick swap out. Negative off first. And we were smart enough to bring our tool set to AutoZone 
But, but they do also loan you tools. Positive off. Harness disconnected. Now the hard part, lifting this beast out of here. <laughs> you know, they think that they would make car batteries lighter. <laughs> like, car technology has come so far. Oh, out with the old, in with the new. Now they say you should replace your car battery every four to five years. And this is a 2017, that battery said Ford. So it's been about five years, so that makes sense. These help prevent corrosion and moisture. So just kind of set them in there, bang. And then when you put it back on, you just make sure you put on your positive first, and then your negative. Okay, here's the moment of truth. Fire it up right away. And problem solved. Thank goodness it was an easy fix. We're actually like one exit from the Hoover Dam. And Victoria's like, should we go? And I was like, listen, last time we did a dam type activity up in Page, Arizona, you didn't handle those heights very well. No, so I'm not a fan of heights. But if you're in the area, you should definitely go if you want to, because it's a it is the closest civilization to Willow Beach. That's true. Ready? Go get it. <laughs> Good job, Oreo. <laughs> Barley, the object is to get the ball, not your sister. She doesn't care about the ball at all. <laughs> Good job. Barley. You're ridiculous. There's your sister. She's waiting for you, ready to pounce. Hey, man. I don't know if I have any more sweat left to give. Do you see me? I'm abs. Did we mention that it's hot here? We're packed up, about to hit the road. We'll talk to you here in a second, but we gotta go. We'll talk to you in the AC. Okay, now that we got a little bit of AC in our life and our brains are working again, let's wrap this thing up, time for your Project RV Campground Review. First things first, we didn't know what we were walking into. We showed up specifically to paddle Emerald Cove. Which it definitely was worth it if you're just going to do that, but we ended up staying for the beach. And this is the type of campground that we absolutely love. Like, if it wasn't for the truck battery car troubles and having to go get that battery, we would have never left a one mile square radius from our RV for the last four days. No, and it's not because the campground itself has a lot of frills or anything. It's just, it's got a beautiful beach. It's got a camp store. It's got gas. It's got a restaurant. It's got like everything you need right there. Shout out to the people at the Marina Camp Store. Who pretty much knew us by name by the time we left. Yeah, they offered us to like take us to go get our car battery. Yeah. They're super nice people. Super nice. And I, you know, I offered to stock their cooler shelves for free just to like cool down for a little bit. <laughs> yeah. They wouldn't take me up on that offer. Uh, it does offer some tent camping, uh, but it also has full hookup sites as well. Um, it 
like we mentioned before, we have absolutely zero service. So thankfully they have pretty good internet and it's free for one device for seven days. Every other device, I believe it's about $4 a day. Now if you've RV'd in Arizona, then you may be familiar with the fact that your AC may not be able to keep up with things. So as soon as I got out of the shower, I was sweating. Yeah. Thankfully they do have an air conditioned bathhouse. So that is very helpful. Reflectix are key during the summertime here in Arizona, y'all. Put them up in your windows. It's really probably saved about 10 degrees in our RV. Oh, for sure. We may have mentioned, but Willow Beach is actually part of Lake Mead Recreation Area. So you can use your National Park Pass to pay for your parking to come use the marina and stuff. The word to the wise, if you do happen to have a boat, there is no boats allowed on Sundays and Mondays. So it's actually perfect for paddle boarding. There's no wake. And again, we feel fortunate that we had the extra time to deal with an automobile problem. Yes, thank goodness we were on a time crunch. Right, and you know, our schedule, like we've mentioned, is fluid right now for summer fun employment 2022. We had a blast, puppies got to enjoy the lake, which by the way, is like 50 something degrees, but when it's 110 out, it feels amazing. But our Arizona adventures are not quite done yet, y'all because we've got national park number 11 coming up. Great. The Grand Canyon. How can we go to Arizona and not visit the Grand Canyon? So it's gonna be our last stop. Yeah, and guess what? It is a balmy 90 degrees there and I am so excited. Arizona, we love you, but man. Why do you always have to be trying to kill us? <laughs> so we got about a three hour drive to the south rim of the Grand Canyon. And I guess that's where we're gonna be catching you next Sunday. Bye. Bye y'all.